Have you ever been in love? Have you ever missed someone so badly that your heart starts aching? Love is one of the most beautiful feelings in the world. To be in love and to be loved back, the joy of being together, weaving a future together, the occasional fights and then getting along with more love. Yes, your eyes are already dreamy and today that's what we're talking about. Have you ever wondered what happens at the back of your head when you're in love? Why is it that you miss someone? What is the brain doing and why do you feel sad? But before we get into it, have you subscribed to our channel? If you're new here, hi you beautiful soul. We are Soul Factors, women's favorite go-to for all things fashion, beauty, lifestyle and health. Follow us and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. What happens in your brain when love happens? Let's dive in. Philosopher Plato said, God of love lives in the state of need. It is a need. It is an urge. It is a homeostatic imbalance. Yes, he knew that it was biology centuries ago. When you're attracted to someone, dopamine and norepinephrine levels shoot in your brain, leading to feelings of intrusive thinking and craving for attention. These chemicals make you feel energetic and ecstatic. The serotonin levels can reduce and it can rob you of your sleep and appetite. Now you know what happens when they say, I'm so in love that I forgot to sleep and eat. When you fall in love, you get connected to the other person even if it is a single-ended relationship. When this connection happens, your brain releases chemicals like dopamine and oxytocin. These are the chemicals that make you feel happy. They also make you want it more and more because this one causes instant addictive dependence. Simply thinking about that person is enough to trigger the dopamine release, making you all excited and crazy stupid in love. When you're with your love, you feel elated. Your pupils dilate, your face flushes and your heart starts racing. This is all due to that hormone rush. Over a period of time, you make a unique bond with this person and he starts camping in your head. He becomes your comfort zone, your days begin with him and your nights end with his good nights. Oxytocin, or as we call it the love hormone, starts working to boost feelings of attachment and trust. It strengthens your bond. Now when he's away, your heart sings. You're sad and you feel miserable. Every second of not seeing him will seem like hours, every day like a month and oh, we can't even imagine what long distance feels like. So what happens when you're separated from your love? When your love is away, your brain will instantly start looking for this chemical that was making you happy all this while. The seeking and longing for that chemical inside your brain is what is making you feel sad on the inside. Your eyes yearn for a side of their face, your body longs for a touch, your ears pine for their voice and your brain, well, seeks love hormones. But after all the longing, when you finally get to see your lover, these neurochemicals take over your brain and reward you. You feel butterflies in your stomach and you get the chills. This is because the brain releases chemicals like vasopressin and adrenaline. This triggers the receptors of the nerves, making your heart go gaga. Studies prove that the brain cells associated with love become active even after 25 years. This means that your feelings of love can be triggered when you see your lover years later too. The brain's memory of love is so badass. But all that biology apart, do you remember the day that you really fell in love? An exact date or a time? We guess not. You didn't fall in love on that one romantic date or when he gifted you something special. It could be because he lent you his coat when you were cold. It can also be when she smiled. It may be because she saved the last piece of cake just for you. So let's just say love happens through a series of tiny events that may not seem so much at the moment. You could be in a room full of people who makes you feel special, but you only fall in love with one person. So, biology aside, we believe that there is some kind of magic that makes you fall in love with someone. Before we go, we would like to remind you that all these feelings, the longing, the sadness, the euphoria of being in love that makes you do crazy things are all normal. It is what makes us human. So embrace the longing and cherish the feeling because you know the wait is definitely worth it all. See you back here in our next video. Bye-bye.